Everybody, welcome back to the brand new episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today, we've got a few mystery products to check out. One that we featured several times on the channel. You guys always seem to enjoy the Nuts and Jacks mystery packs. So we'll start with this. Thank you very much for joining us. By the way, we've got a couple of videos for today. We have this one. We have an auction later tonight. Probably getting that started around maybe about 9 p.m. Eastern time or so. And I'm thinking about maybe also putting up maybe an auction preview as it is a consignment auction. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video uh, or any live stream. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have something that you would like to send to me for a mystery box uh, opening, if you have like a mystery product, here's where you can send it to me at. You can uh, type in Eric Jabber, Jabs Family. Attention Mystery Box Monday. So I know it's not an eBay purchase. P.O. Box 402 Pleasant Unity PA 15676. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. The Nuts and Jacks Mystery Packs. Let's see what they have here with their next series. I forget what series they're on. Is it six? They had a Rookies and Prospect Pack a few weeks ago. And in here, this is the Wandermania Series 6. It says, Hi, Eric. Nuts and Jacks Mystery Pack Series 6. Wandermania is out now. The Series 6 Wandermania has two huge cards. You're not looking for one, but two Wander Franco first. Bowman PSA 10s. You also find Wander Franco Prospector rookies in most packs. Chances of a 2022 rookie card are 1 in 10. There's also 1 in 3 at a prospect. 75 packs are made up. All in all, as of me sending this, I have 53 packs left and both PSA 10s are still in play. I'm going on vacation holding new sales until March the 14th. So we're past March 14th now, so you'll have to check it out and see if it's up right now. Anyway, these packs are made up of primarily modern with some vintage cards mixed in, and uh, each pack contains 40 cards. There's a hit pack with the guaranteed hits. It's a ruby red pack. There's a Stars and Hall of Fame pack with 20 cards, mix of Stars and Hall of Famers, a rookie prospect pack with 20 cards, and an extra bonus. Look for some random extras like memorabilia cards, numbered cards, and so on. Each pack is $65, and there's a 10% off when you buy more on eBay. You can search up Nuts and Jacks. If you'd like to save $5, you can message him on his Instagram and avoid those PayPal fees. He says, one thing I know for sure is you will have fun opening these up. So here they are, Nuts and Jacks. Kind of uh, not quite the uh, Tampa Bay Rays colors, more of like a 90s uh, Florida Marlins feel. I, I like that color. Nice teal color. But let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we can find. Series 6. Nuts and Jacks mystery packs underway. So inside, we have our uh, hit pack and our little bonus there. Well, I guess we'll just get both of these going at the same time. I never know what I want to use for my thumbnail, so I guess what I'll do is I'll put these out. we got a big old pack there. So Nuts and Jacks mystery packs. There's two hit packs. And uh, here's the packaging there. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and start and see what we can find. Hope everyone's having a very good day today. It's the start to a brand new week. And uh, one step closer to Top's Inception coming out, which isn't going to be until um, next... Uh, what is that? 30th or 31st next week. So let's see what we have here. There's Tatis leading things off. This is the stars pack. We've got Juan Soto in there, Shoyo Tani. So definitely some big names so far. All of them major stars. And you got Roger Clemens in there as well. Andre Dawson. There's Johnny Bench and Kirby Puckett. There's Vlad Sr. We've got a Wade Miley, Joey Votto, 2011 Diamond Anniversary card is another nice one. Now we have a rookie pack. I know you guys like rookies because I do too. There's a Casey Mize. That's a green parallel. We've got Gavin Sheets in there. That's one of the better ones from the 2022 Series 1. Sutsugo and who could forget Juan Gon and Tino Martinez, 88 top straight. Dave Cohn, 87 top straight is a cool card. We've got the Slugger Reunion card there with Wander on it. Shirt and Apostle first. There's Dylan Carlson, Luis Heal, Zach Pop might be a, that's a nice one right there. Trevor Rogers first, and Cattell Marte, Walker Bueller rookie card, and Robert Hassel, so not too shabby. Let's do the hit pack. I think this one was the first of the uh, first of the Ruby Reds. The hit pack is going to have William Contreras from Bowman's Best autograph in there, and there's a Tony Gwynn from a silver pack. It is going to be numbered out of 150. We have a Wander Franco in there as well. 
And there's the auto, William Contreras. And this was in that first pack, a little bonus memorabilia hit. Who's it going to be? It is going to be a memorabilia of Hall of Famer Jim Tomei. So that's not too bad. I'll take a Hall of Fame relic any day of the week right there. So that's a nice one. All right. So this is one more to check out. A little bit of a bigger sample size, seeing two of these packs. Again, he had, had 53 of these left when uh, last time, I guess, he checked in there right before going on vacation. I got Barry Bonds, there's David Ortiz, Rod Carew, Don Sutton, Ken Griffey Jr., there's Mookie Betts, Cattell Marte, and uh, we've got Mike Clevenger, another Sapphire card. So I've been noticing one Sapphire card per pack. I don't know if that's going to be in all of these, but that's pretty awesome. I like the Sapphire cards as much as you guys do, which I assume most of you love them. These are all the rookies in this pack. There's Newt Bar, good old Newtie for us. Lars Newt Bar, Mookie Wilson, 81, and Sammy Sosa rookie card. Some nice cards there from the vintage area era. Uh, we got some pro debut cards there. There's Joe Adele, Kyle Tucker, Wander Franco, and Logan Webb is the last one in that pack. I see Heather's just returned home from work. How was work today? Good. We've got the hit pack right now. Let's see what you find in here. There's Maximo Acosta. I pulled that one back on Wednesday, and it's a, like a $1,000 card, except I found it in an orange shimmer first. That's a nice prospect, Raphael Devers, and Nick Madrigal is the last one as well. Let's check out this hit pack, and it says bonus top-loaded team bag. We'll take that. We've got a Mike Trout, Dave Price, short print, Brandon Lau, Bo Bichette. Got the Tatis right there, Brett Beatty, a short print of Joey Votto with some Christmas lights around his bat. Mount Castle negative. We got a Bryce Harper Gold Cup card, which is a nice one, and a short print of Jose Altuve looking very, very happy there. So that's the Nuts and Jacks mystery pack, folks. It is $65 a piece, and you can once again get it for $60 if you contact him directly on Instagram at Nuts and Jacks. All right, next up. This one is kind of looks like a, I don't know, 700 count box or so. I'm going to cover up the address here with an Andy Van Slight card, which says Attention Mystery Box Monday. Let's go ahead and see what we have here in our second offering of the evening. Get this open without knocking the camera over. That would be great. All right. I think I've got it. Are we good to go here? All right, so inside this 660 count box, and there's more tape. Make sure there's no address there. There is a nice little decal, though, that I should probably show off before I just take everything out of here. This is called Baseball's Back Celebration Hobby Box, which is pretty awesome. The Celebration Hobby Box and baseball is back. Spring training games going on right now. And, uh, man, I'm just ripping through this, taking stuff out of here. And there's a note here. We'll check out the note here in just one second. There's some packs. There's some stuff here that's sealed up. All right, so baseball is back. I'm glad that it's back. And this product is celebrating it. Here's the note. The note says, Thanks for opening my hobby box on your channel with baseball back on. I wanted to create a hobby box or mystery pack that celebrated the fact that we are going to have baseball this year. I tried to put together a hobby box filled with cards of past stars and Hall of Famers as well as up-and-coming stars and rookies. The hobby box cost is $100, and there are 80 available. The value of every box is above the purchase price by a significant margin, so you're going to get over $100 worth of value according to this. The values are determined by Beckett pricing and eBay comps. Uh, as a note, I, uh, the box I sent to you is actually not part of the 80, but uh, it's in some configuration out of the 80. All right, so this is kind of like a sample so all the hits are still out there. The green pack is a little extra thank you. The in-depth details of the packs are on the next page, but these packs are full of rookies, Hall of Famers, and so on. You'll receive 40 to 50 cards per pack, plus unopened wax or hanger boxes. There's some pretty good hits, including PSA and CSG cards, a Raw 84 Donruss and Fleer Manningly. And if you'd like to grab one of these, you can type in this number on eBay, 134 
So you can take a look at all the hits right here. These are the potential hits. You can pause that and read through them. It's definitely some nice names on there and some of the singles that you see right there. You can pause that read through. So let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we can find. There's a 91 Clear Greg Jeffries card on the top. John Allerud, Dave Cohn. So these are cards from the 80s and also the 90s. There's a nice Dave Parker, 82. And we've got uh, some more modern stuff mixed in now. You saw Shohei Otani in there. There's J nice Joe Maurer, J.D. Martinez, Raphael Palmer, another Clemens, an 88. Mattingly, Ben McDonald, 90. Del Murphy, 83. Tops. All right, so nice mixture right there. I know some of you probably are like, oh, wait a minute, Greg Jeffries. But he was uh, he's a decent player. He was a 1994 All-Star and just never a ton of value to his cards. Next pack up. Man, I, I wish I had my scissors available, but I left them upstairs. You think it's warm in here, Heather? I thought it was really warm in the house today when I got home. All right, next. We have our next pack. Josh Young. This looks like a prospect pack. There's an Alec Bohm first in there. Jordan Alvarez Chrome Update rookie card. Dylan Carlson. Maybe it's not a prospect pack. It's a mixture of prospects and some Hall of Famers in here. It's Tony Gwynn, Eddie Murray, Mark Grace. I hate that card. Todd Zeal looking really mad. Um, Greg Maddox. I hate the Mark Grace because, um, oh, someone can tell the story in the comment section. I've told it enough times. It has to do with that that being a redemption. Is this a, what? Is this my, you said a thank you? Oh, this is the thank you? Uh, somehow, how did I miss that? It's not written on there, and I've so Heather says this is a thank you pack. So let's check out what we have here in this. We have wow, a Luis Robert 2020 Bowman Chrome PSA 9. That's a pretty nice card right there. 2020, that's his rookie card right there. 2020, or at least his rookie year. 2020 Bowman Chrome. That's an awesome card. I don't think I've seen that. I don't have that one in a PSA 9 in my collection. Um, I have got the raw card, but not that one. Look at that. Wander Franco prospect card. Bowman Chrome from 2019. An Ichiro and a Frank Thomas. So some pretty good stuff right there. Heather, you must have heard the note better than I did. You were listening. I was getting some text messages while I was reading. So I was like dividing my attention there. So sorry about that. Good thing Heather's right here. All right, let's check this out. This last pack. We have a couple bonus packs there as well for the celebration of baseball. Man, I cannot get this open. It's always good to have scissors for Mystery Box Monday. Look at this for the thank you. It's a Henry Davis. A Henry Davis. Good thing it's a top loader. Looks like it took a little bit of a uh, blade to it right there. Henry Davis. Game used relic. He was the number one overall pick in the nation. So thank you very, very much for that. And we also have these three packs. We've got three of these bad boys, 89 tops, 90 Donruss, and 92 Leaf. I'm going to hand these to Heather. Take those for me, please. Give those to Timmy. We just, uh, as you know, Timmy's a big baseball fan. So we'll see if you can point the good cards out of there. And um, I'll give him something to open because I think we're all out of the blasters and opening day for now. So I'll give him something to rip a little bit later on. So thank you very much for sending that our way. I really appreciate that. The baseball is back. Um, celebration hobby box, 80 of them made, $100 a piece. There you go. All right, here's our final one. And I already opened this up because there was no, um, there was no, um, little designation on the package that said mystery box Monday. So I just, I thought it was an eBay purchase and I just ripped it open. And I saw these in there and I was like, oh. yep, this is, uh, this is definitely a mystery product. So it's tiny T's mystery pack. There's a handwritten note here. It says volume four. It says after my first pack sold, thanks to you, my wife has allowed me to create volume two. I try to take all the feedback of those who purchased the first time and decided less is more. These three packs are all their own separate packs. Fifteen dollars plus shipping. So fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. They're all. Is that what you're getting here, Heather? So this is forty-five dollars worth of packs. Packs are five top-loaded cards and twenty-five penny sleeves. The autos and relics are in most of the packs, and I was able to make fifty packs this time instead of just ten and lower the price. So. Um, more can try it out. Please feel free to keep these cards 
one big thank you pack in a sense thank you for your time content and knowledge so once again tiny tim's one five four eight nine four two two five four eight nine is where you want to go to find this if you'd like to so let's check it out this is the last one for mystery box monday this week thanks very much for joining us everybody hope you guys enjoyed this one check us out a little bit later tonight for an auction around 9 p.m and let's get this started here's the first 15 dollar pack We've got a CC Sabathia. Uh, that is one of those diamond anniversaries. Justin Williams, purple rookie, Greg Maddox. Jack Flaherty, first Bowman refractor. That's a nice one right there, Jack Flaherty. Hopefully his, his shoulder was barking up a little bit last week. Hopefully he's going to be all right. So that's pack number one. The Jack Flaherty, the best card there, rookie refractor. Next mystery pack we have is a Chipper Jones purple on the top. And we've got a Phil Necro. There's... A Derek Jeter, Danny Tartable. That's going to be an autograph. Nice one right there. Danny Tartable and Mickey Mantle from the archives set. And here is the... Wait, it's all three of these one, Heather? Is that... So it's three different ones. Okay, just making sure. All right, here's the last one. This is the 25 card pack. Here it is. I just want to double check this. Packs are five top-loaded cards or 25. Okay, I got it. So it's either you get five top-loaded cards or you get a 25-card pack. So that's that's correct. They all are separate. We'll see if there's any hits in this 25-card pack. We've got Sam Hoff rookie card. That's a nice one right there. Ken Griffey Jr., minor league card, 92 classic. At least a minor league picture on it. Upside down, Wade Davis. That's going to be an auto. Wade Davis, rookie auto. Very nice. Wade Davis has had a pretty good career. Um, headlined by his time in Kansas City during that World Series run. Blaze Jordan, it's a nice prospect card. We got a Gabby Sanchez, or Gary Sanchez, and Trent Grisham. Rookie card is going to be the last one. So there you have it. That is this episode of, this week's episode of Mystery Rocks Monday. Short and sweet, three packages. I think next week we may have the Justin Harris Mystery Packs, which could be pretty crazy. Um, so stay tuned for that. We'll sell those spots on Patreon. They're much, much higher end uh, Mystery Pack. And... What else? we got that auction for you around 9 p.m. tonight. I hope you'll join us for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.